Hi dear students, the FMG 2024 is over and I hope you people have done your best. So don't think कि भाई कैसा हुआ, क्या हुआ, क्यों हुआ, बस you have done, that means you have done. Now the most important part is what about surgery? Surgery का जो paper था, what I feel uh, it was a good paper, there were lot of conceptual questions were asked. लेकिन सबसे बड़ी problem क्या है भाई मैंने तो paper दिया नहीं, I have not given the paper, so what is the problem that I am not able to recall all the questions. So statutory warning before starting this recall session, don't do my leg pulling. I have tried my level best from you people only. I have tried to gather the information. Just I wanted to come and discuss few things. That is why I have come and I am trying to disclose it. Whatever I have just gathered from you people. So there were a lot of questions and I don't know who is behind this fornius every almost every session of fmg and last two years we have seen this in lead pg also we get a question from fornius gangrene i no one was able to tell me what were the options so yes if this was the image or this is the kind of image this is what is a classical fornius gangrene if something could have been created you could have a high matlab, i don't know about what was the question but yes on the other side if, if someone gives me this image i would say four years gang be otherwise if someone gives me a history that okay some kashmiri people this and that and living in cold area so there could be a chimney chimney sweep ulcer also in this so that can also have a similar presentation but high probability that it was a question on four years gangrene next is your there was a question on rta they have whatever has been recalled has been put up so rta a patient of shock with hypotension so patient is having shock hypotension then e fast is negative students very important e fast is negative means hypotension cannot cannot be due to cardiogenic shock also why cardiogenic shock cannot be there because e fast is going to take that take that window so hypovolemic shock yes is there but if hypovolemic shock is there, at least the fluid should be seen in the both the thorax also or in the abdominal cavity, which is negative. And thus the answer for this where no one has recalled the option. I don't know, but neurogenic shock should be the answer. I don't question any question, but try to understand. ECG is normal, SpO2 is 93, hypotension with bradycardia. This is what is, someone was saying bradycardia, but here pulse rate is 80, but that is okay, normal. So again, this is a confusion. What whosoever has recalled the information is still missing. But one very important thing is since the E fast is also negative, the chances of hypovolemic shock without an external source of bleeding is quite rare in this case. Next question, which organ has the highest rate of, uh, you can say, transplant rejection? Do you know the maximum rate we have is for the lung? The lung transplant is having almost, almost 80% or you can say 60 to 80% rejection rate. And the least is for the liver. So the least rejection is for the liver and the kidneys and the highest is for the, you can say lungs. So order me agar dekho ke, so it is lungs, then you have the kidneys, then you have the liver. Next is, which structure is spared in the neck surgery? Okay, it should be the neck dissection basically when we talk about the lymph node dissection. When we talk about the lymph node dissection, sternocleidomastoid, yes, we go for. Internal jugular vein, yes, we go for. When Then we have the spinal accessory nerve. We also go for the parotid and the submandibular gland. So tail of the parotid is taken and submandibular gland is taken. But carotid is never taken. So carotid is not the answer in this case. Then most common complication of ERCP. I don't know what is uh, if this was a question. When we talk about ERCP, you know this. This is what 11 o'clock is the entry for the CBD, 4 o'clock is the entry for the main pancreatic duct. Now, when you want to enter, you have to cut the sphincter. This is what is known as sphincterotomy. And whenever you do sphincterotomy, students, you cannot stop hemorrhage from happening. So, hemorrhage is the most common. The second most common will be the pancreatitis. How pancreatitis might happen? You may damage the 4 o'clock also. That is why pancreatitis. So, hemorrhage is very, very, very common complication. Next is 55 year old patient underwent pastios. So try to understand what is pastios surgery. Pastios surgery also known as Partington Roshan surgery is done for chronic pancreatitis without any head mass. So simple duct is dilated and that is why you go for what anastomosis? Longitudinal pancreatico jejunostomy. LPJ is done. When you are doing LPJ, you are not doing any dissection around the, the pylorus 
or you can say the foregut motility or mobility is not affected in this generally what was the click here lot of you believe that a patient underwent the phrase a patient underwent the whipples don't know my difference here. if you do whipples you are dividing the first part of duodenum this is duodenum sacrificing surgery when you're sacrificing the duodenum the pyloric nerves fiber are you can say a bit damaged or temporarily they are damaged and that is why delayed gastric emptying is there and that is why we go for feeding gastrostomy so bachche yahan par patient ne fj kiya hai uh, the patient has undergone lpg longitudinal pancreatic or jejunostomy if i would have been the surgeon i would have gone for oral feeding this is what is very 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 important simple oral feeding on the day 1 or day 2 is also accepted in this case there is no complication you can confidently go for oral feeding ya bahut zyada agar if rt rails tube would have been placed i would have rt feed so feeding gastrostomy why will i do a feeding gastrostomy feeding gastrostomy is done only when you have 4 weeks or beyond that you want to plan something so either rt feed would have given or i would have said bhai patient ko simple khana khilao pani pilao this is what so oral feeding is the answer then a patient with right epigastric pain seven serum mylis is elevated you know this is the recall if i believe that this is the recall the most uh, you can say likely diagnosis ek hi option diya option bhi aur recall kar lete anyways let us see if the pain is radiating towards the black back you should have also evaluated i don't know lipase is given in the option or no acute pancreatitis would have been the answer bachche ye sari cheeze acche se aapko class mein bhi padhai gayi hain management of 12 cm incisional hernia i have taken hernia in great depth and detail hernia is my favorite topic to do also to teach also bachche 12 cm ka hernia hai if that is the quality we i know that whatever hernia we have at least 4 4 cm extra mesh repair should have been done and what is the surgery you have to reduce it mesh repair if laparoscopically you will do i will go for ipom or extended tap if this is not given in the option recto rectus mesh repair what is recto rectus or you can say pre peritoneal mesh repair each and everything has been taught hernia pe i think uh, two questions have been asked so recto rectus mesh repair agar open karo open karoge mesh or pre peritoneal bachche anatomical repair itne bade defect ke liye nahi karte this is done for a smaller defect next is lymphedema and bluish nodules after radical mastectomy now i'm still waiting for this whether this is a recall or no but i can correlate that there if there was an image or anything like that if there is a history of mastectomy long standing history of ma mastectomy this could be lymphangiosarcoma so lymphangiosarcoma could have been the answer or this is also known as stewart treif syndrome students i really apologize i don't know what were the op options rather the questions were also not recalled properly one liner recall is not justified next is laparoscopic mesh in inguinal hernia remember the mesh we use is always always polypropylene mesh polypropylene mesh bachche in class also in revision also have discussed this polypropylene mesh the quality of mesh should be lightweight मैक्रोपोरस मैश मैंने क्लास में भी पढ़ाया था ना भाई अगर लड़की को लड़का पसंद करना है तो कैसा पसंद करेगा हल्का देन मोटा की हल्का हल्का द सेकेंड इज मैक्रो और माइक्रोपोरस मैक्रोपोरस सो दैट ही शुड बी एब्जॉर्बिंग एवरीथिंग नॉट रिवर्टिंग बैक सो मैक्रोपोरस विल एब्जॉर्ब माइक्रो माइक्रोफाइब्रोब्लास्ट फाइब्रोब्लास्ट कोलेजन एंड दैट इज वाई बेटर हाइड्रोफिलिक की हाइड्रोफोबिक हाइड्रोफोबिक कैरेक्टर और सारी चीजें होती है हाइड्रोफोबिक मतलब समझ गया ना बच्चे बिकॉज इफ इट इज रिफ्लेक्टिंग वॉटर इट इज लेस prone to get infected so all these things are discussed ab i don't know what was the option kisi ne bhi option recall nahi kiye par maine is cheez aapko batayi then post cholecystectomy swelling and pain in the leg muscles but what could be the answer post surgery swelling and pain answer is it could be dvt and thus i would be going for doppler study here this is what is if this was the question ye question hi hai dvt ka cholecystectomy se lena dena nahi yes i was going through the question Yeah, there was again someone said that there is a question of cholecystectomy with post surgery detected to be cancer invading the muscle. What is the next? If it is post surgery cancer invading the muscle, you have to go for radical cholecystectomy. What is radical cholecystectomy? If that question was there, I don't know what is the authenticity. So if that question was there, radical cholecystectomy with two centimeter mass of the uh, you can say gallbladder fossa around the liver. 
If radical cholecystectomy cannot achieve healthy margins, you will go for extended cholecystectomy where you will be taking out the segment 4B and 5 also. Next is patient with history of progressive dysphagia. Initially to solid, agar solid hai, then that is either because of the malignancy or because of the stricture. With weight loss now, this is what is malignancy, what is the best investigation. I think upper J endoscopy tha, barium was there in the option or CT was there. CT is the investigation of choice for this case. This is the malignancy that we are having. Now, sure sign of abdominal dehiscence. I am not able to understand who has recalled this question because someone who has recalled has not told me the options. How can I tell you? However, if there is abdominal wall dehiscence, let me tell you, not the wound dehiscence, divarication or the gapping of or gaping of the recti. Divarication of recti is very, very, very common here. Condomyelata accumulata, what is the management answer is excision. This is one option. So, second option, why? What is condomyelata? It is a locally eruptive mass, what? Second option is topical podophyllin, topical imicumod, imicumod or podophyllin can be also used. So, topical imicumod or podo, podophyllin can be. Agar nahi dekha, so, go to surgery dada. In my YouTube channel, I have uploaded this case of condylomata acuminata of the perineum. But say, apart from that, there were other questions which I can recall boundaries of the Hesselbeck triangle. When we talk about the Hesselbeck triangle, you have the base made by the inguinal ligament. Then who is making the superior superolateral border? Try to understand. Inguinal ligament is one boundary. The superolateral boundary. Who is making the superolateral boundary? Answer is inferior epigastric vessels. And along with that, the medial boundary is made by the lateral border of rectus. So this was the question. Then the inferior epigastric vessels. A question the EHS, European Hernia Society. Mein, what is the PL2? What do you mean by PL2? You know, EHS may E for etiology, H for hernia size, S for the site. We say EHS as an remember it like this, but it is European Hernia Society. So, etiology, it is not associated with any cause, so it is primary. When we talk about the hernial defect, so it is one finger space, so 1F is one finger width up to 1.5 centimeter. What do you mean by students? 2F, 2F means more than 1.5 up to 3, and 3F is more than 3 centimeter and S means if it is M then that means a direct hernia that is medial if it is L that is indirect and if it is F that is femoral so yaha par kya hai PL2 it's a primary PL2 stands for it's a primary indirect inguinal hernia indirect inguinal hernia with at least 1.5 to 3 centimeter defect or two finger breadth defect size. Then there was a question what is not seen in refeeding syndrome? Hypokalemia, hyperkalemia, hypophosphatemia, and hypocalcemia. But hyperkalemia is not seen. Hypokalemia dekhi jati hai. Amongst them, hypophosphatemia is the most important. Then there was a question with men syndrome. Or unhone pucha the men one. Remember, men one three target organ: parotid, uh, parathyroid, pituitary, and pancreas. Amongst them, parathyroids are the most important. Parathyroid adenoma is seen. Pheo is seen with men two, not men one. Parotid tumor ho nahi hota hai. Uh, parotid, parotid tumors or uh, you can say parotid gland tumor hai, pituitary tumor nahi hai. so wo visual hallucination mat karna samjhe ki nahi parathyroid adenoma is the answer then someone told me that there was a question on esophageal atresia but i couldn't recall maine janne ki koshish kari ki bhai kya management ho gaya to sir yaad nahi aa raha so esophageal atresia if that was ruling of saliva initial is baby baby esophagogram Yes, if you get to see a blind pouch, that's an atresia is confirmed. Blind pouch with a gas in the stomach. It is atresia with fistula and type C type. This is what is very, 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 very important. So, what is the next line management? If you suspect it is pure atresia, go for an esophagogram, done. If you suspect it to be tracheoesophageal fistula, the next line investigation is not an esophagogram. Because esophagogram mein contrast diya, to seedha ga seedha wo kaha chala jayega, trachea mein chala jayega. So, bronchoscopy, flexible bronchoscopy is the investigation. Then, I think someone has shared an image. I don't know, it's an Edison uh, forceps was asked or Debeke's forceps was asked. Because Debeke is the vascular forceps, similar to looking like that, we have a Debeke's also, we have the Edison forceps also. 
देन देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन विद गैस्ट्रोचिस बेसिकली गैस्ट्रोचिस का मैनेजमेंट पूछा है सो वॉट इज द मैनेजमेंट ग्रेजुअल रिडक्शन विद अलो बैग इज द इनिशियल थिंग सो यू विल टाई एंड सूचर अप अलो बैग एंड रिड्यूज इट ग्रेजुअली वंस इट इज रिड्यूजेबल द ट्रैक्शन रिड्यूजेस देन यू हैव टू गो फॉर प्राइमरी अप्रोक्सीमेशन बच्चे फर्स्ट लाइन मैनेजमेंट इमीजिएट सर्जरी नहीं होता यू नीड टू प्रिवेंट दिस बावल फ्रॉम हाइपोथर्मिया सो पुट अलो बैग close it tighten it progressively and try to reduce the bowel as much as possible then there was a question on the breast cancer drug tamoxifen so i don't know what was the question but yes if tamoxifen was asked it's a serm and it is used as a chemo preventive drug also in post surgery for premenopausal or perimenopausal females who are erpr positive i think there was an image of sah subarachnoid hemorrhage so if you see sah uh, This is classical image of SAH. ये पूछी थी कि एस डी एच पूछी थी ये बताना जरूर कमेंट में कि क्या पूछा था आई एम स्टिल वंडरिंग वाई स्टूडेंट वर नॉट एबल टू रिकॉल दीज इजी क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन ऑफ मोबाइल लम विद ई आर पी आर पॉजिटिव हर्टिन्यू नेगेटिव सो इफ ई आर पी आर पॉजिटिव हर्टिन्यू नेगेटिव इट कुड भी ल्यूमिनल ए ल्यूमिनल बी अब ये नहीं पता है ल्यूमिनल ए बी के लिए के आई सिक्स सेवन वैल्यूज वर गिवेन ऑन नो लो के आई सिक्स सेवन वैल्यूज येस इट्स अल्यूमिनल ए हाई के आई सिक्स वैल्यूज इट्स अल्यूमिनल बी देन देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन कोलेडोकल सिस्ट समन एज आस्ट दिस आई डोंट नो वेदर इट इज देयर ऑन नो Colidocal cyst. I have covered this is again in revision in the class also. Abnormal bilio pancreatic junction (ABPJ) is the cause. Reflux of pancreatic juice causing cystic dilatation, and yes, it's a risk for cancer. But remember, the management is not open and drain. Resect it above the level of the confluence of cystic duct with the common with the common hepatic duct. Excise that level and rue and why HJ is the call. Then I think burn patient with the burn involving the anterior chest and the abdomen. So if you talk about anterior part of the chest and the abdomen, eighteen percent. Let us see. Then the full arm, then nine percent. Anterior and posterior thigh. Again, you should take it like five five percent, ten percent. So almost it is turning out to be thirty five to thirty six percent is the call. This is what is the answer. Next is next thirty six percent. CAGB with muscle invasion. I have already told you. Post orchidectomy, Reinke's crystal, Reinke's crystal. This is straightforward. It is a Leydig cell tumor. It is a Leydig cell benign tumor. Patient with hypercortisolic symptoms. ये अच्छा question आपके level पे आया. Patient with hypercortisolic symptoms with ACTH elevated. Majority of the case of this are. This is a Crohn's disease. It is from the pituitary or the central origin lekin agar central origin ka tumor hoga that would always respond to a dexamethasone suppression so dexamethasone suppression fails so this is an ectopic acth which is or producing tumor this is what is the best answer so one is far better than the third next question is rta with maxillofacial trauma severe what is the next way to establish airway either cricothyrotomy or tracheostomy either cricothyrotomy or tracheostomy i don't know what were the options then history of uh, women with 10 years surgery and i think ye wahi lymphangiosarcoma ya severe trefs ka again 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 students whatever has been done has been done don't panic this was your attempt your chance just just stay cool calm enjoy your day whatever questions i could have recalled i would have brought hum dobara aayenge again with the better options better and more correct recalls so i hope you are enjoying